Hi everybody, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and today I am sharing a week in the life video. I typically don't do videos like this because my life is pretty boring, but this past week I actually had some really fun things going on. First of all, I redecorated the craft room and some of you noticed in my video last week my new little setup back here and I'm going to talk all about it. It's antique shopping, which is so much fun. I also got to partner with a local soda shop to create a specialty drink and I'm really excited about it and of course I crocheted a little amigurumi toy for them and I can't wait to share that with you and finally I'm sharing a little behind the scenes of a part of my life that I don't think I've ever talked about before so if you're not from around these parts here in North Carolina this might be interesting to you or even if you are from around these parts you might find this interesting because you all will know exactly what I'm talking about so let's go ahead I'm gonna jump right in we're gonna start with our craft room makeover I'm warning you now my craft room is is not in good condition right now. It is time for a cleanup and I wanted you guys to see this is actually how dark it is in here because this is my basement and obviously my laundry room and it is an absolute mess right now but I am also looking to kind of change a few things. So right here I have these great pegboards that I got from Ikea and I actually really like them but I don't really feel like they're very practical because I really don't have a lot of supplies that really work with this so I'm actually wanting to go to the antique store and get some kind of shelving for right there because I just think shelving something where I could put some toys and things like that would work so much better so I'm gonna see what I can find so I headed to my very favorite antique mall which is the depot at Gibson Mill this place is massive it used to be an old textile mill here in Concord North Carolina and I love going to this place because you can find so many unique things each of the booths are individual owned so they all have a different personality there are some that are full of furniture and really old antiques and then there are others that have really unique fun things old antique toys and clothes and furniture some things are newer some things are absolute junk but there are treasures to be found in this place and I love 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 just walking around and looking at everything. This booth has so many beautiful things. I love the way it's styled. I love all the chippy old things. Now I ended up finding an old trough at this booth that I thought might work. I love the look of it, it is so gorgeous. And when we measured the dimensions, it looked like that it would actually fit. So my husband was great about taking everything out of there to see if it would work at all because we were a little worried because it was solid wood that it would be super, super heavy. And this would be something that I would need to hang on the wall. We quickly discovered it was way too heavy and wasn't going to work. But I started just walking up and down the aisles. I had my dimensions. We were measuring things. I knew that if I kept looking, I would find the perfect piece for my craft room. I convinced my husband to walk down to my favorite booth one last time before we left and that's when I found it. I knew it when I put my eyes on it and we measured it and I knew that this was exactly what I was looking for. It was so gorgeous, it was all chipped up and now all we needed to do was get it loaded up into my van and thankfully they have people there at the depot who will help you do that. But as soon as we got home, my sweet little Olive was there to greet us. She had been wondering where we had gone. So then my husband said, let's go ahead and get this thing unloaded. We've got to get it into the craft room. And thankfully we have a door to our basement so it makes it a whole lot easier. <laughs> now we have to figure out how to get this actually 
in my craft room. So I need to get all this stuff off of there because that's where that cabinet is going to go and I'm so excited. I just, I have visions. I hope it works out the way I think it's going to. At this point, I had to take down all of the other little decorations. We had to get those old pegboards down, which they were really screwed into the wall really well. So thankfully my husband was able to quickly get that done. And I was chomping at the bit to start decorating and getting that cabinet into the room because I just knew it was going to look beautiful. We brought the cabinet into the room and we had to move my little prints that I have from Ikea. I love them. They're little Scandinavian prints. I love them so much. And I knew that it was perfect. As soon as we got it in there, I opened the cabinets. I was so excited. And my husband made sure that it was centered on the wall. And Miss Olive is always so curious and wants to know exactly what's going on. But I actually had to clean this out because it was kind of dirty and it needed a good wipe down. Then came the fun part and I was able to start adding all of my fun little treasures that I have and my granny square blankets and toys that I have made. And this was actually so much fun for me. I was so excited to just make this my own and give it my personality and add all of the things that I have made. This was the part that I had been looking forward to. I knew it was the perfect piece and it has that old chippy antique vibe that I really wanted because I love all of the old things and my granny square blankets and all of my things were going to look beautiful in it. I just knew it. Then I actually went through and started cleaning up the rest of the craft room because it needed a good reorganizing, cleaning, scrub down all the things. It was a great opportunity to just go through everything. And of course, Miss Olive had to come see what we were up to because she's so curious. Here is my new cabinet all done up. It's completely finished and I actually was really surprised how much it holds. I have so much stuff in here and that's good for me because I'm one of those people that's a little bit of a pack rat and I love to keep collecting and adding things. So this is going to be really good for me going forward too. What's really fun is that I also feel like I can change it out for the seasons, whether it's fall or spring or summer or Christmas. And as I keep making more and more amigurumi, I can keep adding them to my little cabinet, which is really fun. I know that I probably should sell some, but I'm a little bit of a hoarder. So I probably am going to keep as many as I can, but this is just a wonderful cabinet. I'm so glad I got it and I hope you guys like it. We have a local soda shop in our town called Sipco, and when they reached out to me to see if I wanted to create my very own specialty drink for their menu for the month of June, I was so excited. I sent them all of my favorite flavors like raspberries and blackberries and lemon, and of course I created a little amigurumi toy. This is from the pattern Boba Milk Tea from One Dog Wolf. It's a free pattern on her blog. They created two different versions for me, and they were both raspberry based but the first one was sparkling water and raspberries and blackberries and fresh lemon and then the second one had raspberry puree and also coconut cream and so I was able to try both of them. This was so much fun to get to do a little taste test and go into their kitchen and just look around and see all of the wonderful things that they have. I chose a favorite and then I got to make my very own which was absolutely so much fun. I'm a coconut lover so I added a lot of coconut to mine. Sip Co. is such a unique place in Concord, North Carolina. So if you're local, please go. And if you're there during the month of June, make sure to order my raspberry drink because that will be really fun. The owners are such great guys and also make sure to get their cookies. They have the most amazing cookies. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about something that is totally not crafting related at all, but this is a part of my life that I don't think I've ever shared before, but my husband works in motorsports 
sports and has for a really, really long time. Now, for the most part, I don't go to the racetrack. It is pretty rare. It's only maybe a few times every couple of years I might go. And the only races that I actually enjoy going to are local, number one, and number two are drag racing. And the reason why drag racing is so fun is because it is very fast paced. There's a lot of different kinds of cars that they race and it's just kind of fun, but it starts and stops, starts and stops. So you don't feel like you're just sitting there for hours and hours and hours, but it was just a really fun night. The weather was absolutely gorgeous. My daughter and my son and my husband and I all went and we just had a wonderful time. And it's the first time in quite a while that it felt normal going out. We've all been vaccinated and the restrictions in North Carolina have eased up. So it was just really nice. We were outside and we could just enjoy the weather, have fun and do something completely different. I hope you enjoyed this week in the life video. And if you would like to see more of these types of videos, let me know in the comment section below. That way, if I ever have another exciting week, I can make another video like this. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and the bell notification. That way, you know every time I put out a new video. But as always, please stay safe out there and happy stitching.